on the Red Horse Ranch. When Red jumped the corral fence last night, Alabama and Tenderfoot followed him into the hills of the Red Horse Ranch. Neither of the boys have told what their discovery was, but Alabama can't refrain from telling Rose Carter about that thrilling ride through the night. And I tell you, Rose, that was the prettiest sight I ever saw out on this range. Oh, I wish I could have seen it, Alabama. There's always been something about that horse that fascinated me. Such a heavy mane yeah. and such a proud bearing. Mm. Why, he's like a king. He's a king if there ever was one, Rose. And you say that you and Tenderfoot followed him? Yeah, we had to keep our horses at a dead run to do it. Oh, I'll bet. He started out along the creek over there and then turned north along the ridge. It's a sight I'll never forget. But where did he go? Why has he been running off into the hills like that? <laughs> I've never told you much about how I brought that horse in off the range, have I, Rose? Well, no. You did tell me that you cut him out of a band of wild horses last fall. That's right, Rose, but that wasn't the first time I spotted that roan horse. Oh. I followed him off and on all summer long. Oh, I Sometimes see. I even gave up hope of ever dropping my rope over his head and bringing him in. Oh, but wasn't that dangerous at first? More than I ever imagined he would be. I've never seen a wild animal fight for his freedom like that horse you named Red. Well, how in the world did you ever tame him? Well, I didn't make the mistake I, uh, other men make out on the range. You can't tame a horse like that by cruelty. Not an outlaw as spirited as that roan. Oh, the proud beauty. Uh, Tenderfoot and I followed him clear off into the hills, and there we saw him join a band of wild horses. Oh, Alabama, how thrilling. <laughs> yes, it was. And Red was the king of them all. He's been joining that band every night when we've missed him, and it's only because of me that he's ever returned. Say, the boys are over there at the side of the house singing. Yes, I hear them. Let's go over and join them, All shall right. we? All right, come on, let's go. Go sailing in our prairie dream home, and we drift through the haze of the old Sail in our dream boat. There's Buffalo Billy and Red River Willie. They're rounding them up like they used to do. But we part with a sigh when the dawn hits the sky and sail home. Right. 
bed and hide Little Pedro and I Go sailing in our prairie dream boat And we drift through the haze Of the old prairie days As on and on we sail in our dream When the dawn hits the sky And sail home in our prairie dream mm, That was beautiful. Go on singing, boys. Oh, well, hello, Rose. Uh, say, Rose, how are things coming for the big shindig up here at the house? Oh, just fine, Bob. I think we're going to have a big time. And we're depending on you boys to keep the party going. <laughs> <laughs> say, did you ever see a raw bone bunch of cow pokes get together but what they couldn't entertain themselves? <laughs> <laughs> say, Idaho, I haven't heard you play that jug since the last party up at the house. Rose, you say the word and I'll blow the bottom right out of that jug. <laughs> All right, let's and he can do it too, if yeah. anyone can. Come on, get the blowing at Idaho. <laughs> Oh, say, Tenderfoot, you asked Rose for your share of the dances up at the house? Uh, why, uh... Well, if he ain't, he's been thinking about it for the last three months. <laughs> <laughs> well, thinking don't win nobody, Tenderfoot. Actions speak louder than words. Well, I don't think Tenderfoot's the only slow one. You haven't asked me for any dances yet either, Alabama. Oh, well, <laughs> Rose, you don't want to dance with a clumsy galoot like me. Why, you're not clumsy, Alabama. I've always enjoyed hey, dancing with you. Hey, look out, Tenderfoot. <laughs> you're losing out here. <laughs> I'll tell you, Tenderfoot, remember what I said about winning the ladies? Oh, why, no. Well, uh, uh, this might remind you. <laughs> I got your letter, dear Charlie, the last you wrote to me. I read it over and over Of course, my dear friend, I'll agree For I want you to be happy With the fair young heiress, Miss Gray I heard all about it, dear Charlie I knew it would end in this way And here is your ring, Charlotte, darling Is very dear to me I still can recall when you gave it Those vows you made to me A year ago, Charlie, darling A happy year for us both You swore you would never deceive me But you were untrue to your oath And now I will tell you goodbye, dear I hope you'll think I've been fair Remember, I'm always and always as ever, your friend, Nellie Bear. Oh, 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 Tex. Tex, I ought to bake you a cake for that. <laughs> sure, go ahead and bake him a cake, but make it big enough so it'll go around. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's getting late, boys. I'd better be going in the house before Dad comes out here after me. <laughs> We're right sorry to see you go, ain't we, Tenderfoot? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, good night, boys. Good, good night, Rose. Good night, Rose. Say, if anyone needs sleep around here, it ought to be Alabama and Tenderfoot. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Seems to be they must have been dreaming somewhere to come back with a story they did. Well, you boys can laugh all you want to. Tenderfoot's telling you the same thing I did. Oh, I don't see why you coyotes keep so quiet about all out there. Ain't there nothing else to that trip you made last night? Well, maybe we can tell you about that before long. S say, Tenderfoot. Yeah? Uh, what are you so quiet about all at once? Why, nothing now, Ben. 
Come on, let's sing one more song. I'm a little sleepy. Remember the words to old Roy Bean? Not all of them, but let's try it over once, boys. All right. Okay. Cowboys come and hear the story of Roy Bean and all his glory, all the longest of the papers ready sign. We must let our ponies take us to a town on Lower Pecos where the hybrid spans a canyon thin and fine. Once there came from Austin City, a young dude reported witty out of Bean, he sort of guessed he'd take a rise. And he got unusual frisky as he up and called for whiskey, saying, Bean, now hurry up, call turn your eyes. Then a down he threw ten dollars, which the same Roy quickly collars, and the same Roy holds to nine and hands back one. So the stranger gave a holler as he saw that single dollar, and at that began the merriment and fun. Oh, the dude, he slammed the table just as hard as he was able That the price of whiskey was too high, he swore Said Roy Bean, for all that fussin' and your most outrageous cussin' You are fined the other dollar by the law On this place I own a lease, sir, I'm the justice of the peace, sir The law west of the Pecos all is here And you've acted very badly, then the dude, he went off sadly While down his lily cheek there rolled a tear so you boys have heard the story of Roy Bean in all his glory. He's a man who was the justice of the law. He was handy with his hooks. He was ornery in his looks. And just now I ain't a tellin' anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Say, boys, I know you ain't hankering for me to say nothing more about it. But you remember this Dawson kid I was telling you yeah, about? Yeah, Trigger Dawson's breath. You still don't count on being a maw to him, do you, Alabama? Well, I wish you boys could see it my way. They're going to turn that kid loose over there in Roaring River. And like as not, he'll go back to the same bad gang his dad hung out with. Well, I don't think a kid had triggered Dawson's would have much of a chance of amounting to nothing. Well, I still can't help thinking it's our job to look after that young fella. Might be able to tame him down a little. You're good at taming horses, but when it comes to human beings, that's a little out of your line, Alabama. Well, boys, my boots began to hurt me. Think I'll wander on down to the shack. Feel like sleeping tonight. Yeah, yeah I think I'll go with you, Dick. Uh, uh, Tenderfoot, I'll walk down with you. Oh, sure, Alabama. Is there anything on your mind? No, but Alabama... Come on, what? come on, get it off your chest, Tenderfoot. Well, Alabama, are you in love with Rose? What, Tenderfoot? Whatever made you say that? Oh, I don't know. I noticed it once before. When you and I were out night herding, <laughs> we got to talking then again tonight. You do love Rose, don't you? Why, of course I don't love her, Tenderfoot. Well, Anyhow, I've been here so long, Rose looks on me like a brother. Now you, you're from back east. You've been to school and all that. Rose is getting an education now, and things are different with her than they were a year oh, ago. But she ought to know. Now, that. come on, Tenderfoot, get that off your mind. That dance is going to be your big chance with Rose. All right, Alabama, but somehow I don't feel just right about it. And it seems to us that Alabama hasn't exactly told Tenderfoot the truth. We're all invited to the big barn dance up at the ranch house. So be sure not to miss the next episode of Red Horse Ranch. Yeah.